going to be modifying my 2014 F-150 Lariat crew cab truck. Getting ready to use it for work. And the problem is it lacks a bed cover. Sorry, the sun's kind of not cooperating, but it's nicer out right now. So you can see there's no bed cover. And there are these stupid rails. So I've got a solution. Pace Edwards makes a rollback uh, bed cover. It's about $1,200. Ordered it on Amazon.com. Had it about five days. I originally was going to order it from E-Trailer. They were a little bit more, but uh, they couldn't seem to ship it for 30 days. I don't know what their problem was. Obviously, it could be shipped faster because this looks like it was drop shipped from Pace Edwards. Pace Edwards is the company behind Lear bed covers, so it's a reputable name. Great people, made in the United States in uh, southwestern Washington state. Too far, I gotta undo these. They're on a 916 inch bolt. So I'm gonna clamp this here. So it's a 916 inch bolt or nut. And I'm just gonna put these up here and. So this is really well packed. These are the rails and that's the actual unit with the bed cover in it. Really, really well packed. There was a bunch of this stuff around it. That's how it's supposed to be done, guys. That's how you pack a bed liner for UPS so they can't destroy it. And I already threw a bunch of that stuff away. so. Anyway, let me uh, read the instructions and figure out what's next. Alright, so step one is to get this out and put it up there. I'm going to stop here. Get these off. These are 10 millimeter bolts. And they're just in here. I'm going to save them because we have no idea what they're for. Alright, so the instructions call for using two five gallon buckets to support the uh, cover and the case for it. So that's what we're going to do. We'll see what the instructions say to do next. So I've got the rails sitting up here. You can see this other one over here. The back is curved. That's a key. And then these latches need to be in. And there's a handle over here. I don't feel one on that side. So there's a little handle right here. I'll show you guys that later. But essentially you just twist it and it locks the handles in and out of the way. So the instructions are actually really good. So I'm going to go ahead and slide this in here, and I'll be right back. This is not. Okay, well, it doesn't look that difficult, but we'll see. not that difficult so let's go ahead and do the other side now, the trick to this is to keep this part engaged there and then just slide it in 
you need to put these in. I'm gonna have to lay upside down to see this. There is a hole there. <clears throat> All right, so I'm just going to push harder. are partially self-threading so it's not a big deal to start them like that. When you put these together it's the screw and then the lock washer and then the flat washer so you have a pack like that. want to push the rail in so that you can see the screw hole at which point you can put this in there you go easy peasy this seals engagement is really important and they give you this really cool gauge so you need to put it up here and you need to hook the back of this right here with the gauge and you're trying to measure you're trying to establish that distance between the tailgate and that so when you get that on both sides you're in the right spot all right so next you mark where your rails sit with tape i'm not 100 sure this is right but this is what it says to do and now i'm going to scoot this whole assembly back so that i can put some ceiling foam on the front aspects of this is the shims so that goes against the bed white is left or driver's side and 
essentially it's going to go up in here like this there's one little relief area that these can slide in and then you gotta slide it all the way forward to get it in the right spot so i'll do the same thing over here and let you guys have a better view of it so i'm gonna orient my piece to find my relief where I can get this in here. Well, apparently there's another one there, but I didn't see that before. You need a 532nd inch wrench, and once these are in place, you go ahead and there's a little Allen screw on them. Let's tighten them down. All right. So there's a little tab that goes here, here, and then you tighten this down and that locks it. It basically works like this in the instructions. And there's one here, there, there, and there. All right, folks, so uh, part two, I ran out of daylight last night. So I've got the Pace Edwards Ultra Groove installed on my 2014 F-150. And it's held in by these clamps here. Um, it ain't coming out. And then I've got to put the cover on and finish up the install today. So that's that's my next project. So let me get started. In order to route these drain tubes from the back here, they snap in. And I'm going to route them through the, the corner post here. And in order to get them out, I have removed the corner tail light so that I can just slide down through this hole. So let me show you how I do this. I'm gonna do this in reverse. I'm gonna drop it through this hole in the bottom of the tent of the, the bed and then bring this back up. There we go. That's nice and clean. And then this just slides back in. And it is a 5 16 inch bolt, or at least it is for the moment. That's all there is to it.
run this down inside the body. That's all there is to it. So you just pull it out through a hole and connect it up here, and then we'll just slip this back in. to it for the back ones. Pull things out here when you're putting this together. These slide back and forth in this little, see there's a little T-nut type things and they slide back and forth in here. So it's not super critical that they be placed right. So I'm just going to set them in the middle for the beginning and then there's there are screws that go in here. So let me get this set up. Now we're just going to slide this into place. Got one. Now I'm gonna set the other one in place. I'm trying to get them aligned before I tighten them down because I think it'll make my life easier. So now that they're in place, and these have a thread lock compound slide to them. So that's plenty. And that's plenty. So that part's on. And so you can see here, it's a really nice looking cover thing is to install the rear drains and these drain the, the tunnel cover and you're going to use these black um, rubber plugs and these have been rhino coated which is kind of a sloppy rhino coat job but <clears throat> whatever it doesn't really matter so what we're going to do is use a knife to make a little slit in there and then these have a locking connector that just goes up in these holes. Make a little hole here. shouldn't be this brittle.
Gotta get a pair of pliers. <laughs> there isn't really a nice way to do this. So once that's open, you can slide this in. And then you push that up, and that has to be twisted, and you can't do it, I can't do it by hand. but I can do it with pliers. better ways to do this but I'm not sure I really don't like the way these are in here there we go so you want to make sure your drain tubes are pointed under your vehicle so uh, I crawled under the driver's side to check that, and I'm gonna go check the passenger side. All right, well, good. This one's where it should be, and I'm, uh, I'm real happy with that. So the next thing we need to do is need to lubricate this this uh, sweep seal, and also there's a uh, uh, HDPE plastic rub rail here that needs to be lubricated, and they've included the right lubricant. So it's called 303, um, and it even gives you a little picture of where it goes. So I'm gonna open it and apply it. All right, so it's a little towelette. That makes it easy. So we're just gonna run it back and forth.
Velcro built into it, and I need to figure out where I want to put it. So I'm just going to put it right there. if I can't get it to separate. There it goes. And I'm not going to attach to it right now, but what I'll eventually be able to do is just, you know, put this right here. And it looks like this is actually supposed to be a loop. It's Velcroed. That's really nice. Maybe that was supposed to go somewhere else. Anyway, it's on here, so now at this point, there you go. That looks really sharp. So I have completed installing a Pace Edwards Ultra Groove tonneau cover. There is a latch uh, knob there. And then you can pull it all the way back or pull it all the way forward. It's a nice rolling style and it is aluminum with a vinyl top. So you get the best of both words. You get a hard top that thieves can't get into and you get something that looks really nice like vinyl. And if you need your bed, you just simply unlock that and slide it back and it will lock in different places. So, there you go. That ah, was probably a little rough, but you know what? It's a truck. And we need to know that it can do these things. So thanks for watching. I hope you found this interesting and informative. Uh, Pace Edwards did say this is a new product. And I'm about to do the second part of this, which is installing a ladder rack on it. And that's what's really special about this, is there's only a couple of la uh, bed covers that work with ladder racks. Um, the other ones are retracts and it is stupid expensive. So anyway, let me get started on that project. That'll be a second video. It'll be in my F-150 playlist. Thanks for watching.